shout out to motherfucking United Airlines on this one for making it happen. Holiday rush. I've never seen the airport like this, but they got me and Kento through. We're the absolute last ones to board. Every once in a while, we gotta give a shout out. It's still fuck American Airlines, but Delta and United, they're cool. Hey, 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 hey. God damn, thankfully I don't have to do that again. We're, uh, oh my goodness, he has to go pee. We're back home, baby. We're in Austin, Texas. Normally, I never check my bag. In fact, you're not supposed to, especially if you're bringing, uh, we'll say goodies. If you're bringing goodies, I always bring them in my backpack. Always make sure you have it on the carry-on, but Every once in a while, the plane's too full. You know I'm always the last one on, so. Oh, yeah. Normally, me and Kento are not in this airport, so it's cool. It's festive. There's like a couple Christmas trees and shit. I mean, look at the big-ass ornaments. Might as well take the time and do something. Uh... Oh, look at this fucking guy. Look at this little area, though, bro. It's called Thanksgiving. We found it, baby right on this John Deere truck. There's something about the holidays that's dope as fuck, bro. Like, I just like how everyone's here. Everyone's trying to see their family, their friends. Everyone's back home into like their own little, like, everyone at this airport is from Austin, right? Like, everyone's in another city, another state, another country right now. All came back, have some good times with the family. I love it, bro. It's like a cozy time. You can wear hoodies and shit. Like, I love it. I'm smacked right now. Kento, you need to go pee? Yeah, Kento, take that shit. If you didn't know, weed's super illegal in Texas. Like, super fucking illegal. And concentrated weed is even worse. Like, this right here, or a gram of dab, is a felony out here. Automatic. Uh, you might be able to get away with a couple grams of weed, depending on how bad the cop's day is going. But you're supposed to go to jail, or at least get a ticket in most cities. Here in, like, Austin and Houston, I think they've, like, decriminalized it. But it's kind of weird to be smoking this like I'm in L.A. This airport's just as shitty as L.A. You have to, like, walk and or take a shuttle to the Uber place, which is all the way on the other side. It's Fucking dumb. But hey, we got a ride coming. No, I did not just drop that in the poop, bro. Fuck. I did so happen to get a little bit lucky and we brought ourselves a, a little tonic from back in LA. Well, this one specifically is actually from Vegas. So we're from Vegas to LA. And now we're in Austin. We're gonna get uh we're gonna get really fucking high. There's literally so many people here that it's like a concert, like the internet doesn't even work, bro. That is fucking crazy, man. The holiday airports are crazy. Downtown Austin. Honestly, a lot nicer than LA is. Texas, what the fuck is this? Do you see how tall this could, This is like a foot and a half, bro. I can't even open the door all the way. This is nuts. Look at that fucking gar someone threw away, man. Austin's a vibe. Look, there's even a dog. And they're expert parkers here. Holy shit. Holy sh. It's a nice ass building, bro. Austin really is like a mini LA. Look, there's even like hella gay bars right here. Where I feel, I feel like I'm right at home. Gonna grab coffee at this spot real quick. I think I have uh, cocktails and such too, so I think that's an appropriate time for me to pull out uh, this little tonic. Shout out to Einbay, all the way from Vegas, you know what I mean? My boy Chris, or Swank Genetics. This is probably the cleanest syrup I've ever had in my fucking life. Can I get a yuzu peach tea? Absolutely. Well, out of all things, I wasn't expecting some shake. It looks like they just put a bunch of shake in my fucking water. I bet you it doesn't even taste good. I thought it was gonna be iced at least, you know, a few cubes. This is like actual tea type shit. What the fuck? Looks like they pooped in it a little bit too. It's not bad. Like I've had tea that's like, yeah, like I don't even wanna drink that. It's not bad. We need a little, uh, we need a little something added in there. Actual, there's, there's stems in there, brother. We got some, some tree OG and shit in there, okay? If you're watching this point of the video, just teabagged you. Amazing stuff. I think this has a decent amount of sugar in it from what I remember, so we should be a-okay to do it. They're also travel friendly, which is fucking awesome. TSA won't stop you. It's the perfect liquid limit to bring on the plane. Oh shit, that's the cat. <laughs> I thought it was like, <laughs> it was like a liquor poor cat. The coolest thing about this one, the peach flavor, I think it's the only one that does it, but I don't know if you can see it. It's got gold flakes in it. It's got 24 karat. Gold flake skis in this bitch. Oh shit. Damn. 250 milligrams of syrup down the drain. He wants some. Oh, it's sparkling. Let's see if she can really sparkle. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see. Let's do a little taste test. No, not even a mixture, man. Not even a stir. Ooh. Ooh, bro, it's so clean. That's the main thing. All his shit, his pens, his rosin, everything's so clean. 
but if you've tried a lot of syrup before, one, it separates in the bottle, you can't have it for a long time. This one, you can just leave out for months and months and refrigerate it, I think you said, up to a year. But two, certain other syrups leave like a film or a coating or like a distillate little nastiness on your mouth, but... Oh my goodness, look, you can see the gold on top right there. This is so fucking gas, oh god. Look, you can definitely see the gold right there. Yeah, gold flakes. Gold flakes in the fucking syrup drink, come on. Oh my god, this is this tastes fucking good. This tastes like how I wanted it to taste originally when I got it. Oh, oh, son. I'm like, I'm almost done. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I love this city, bro. There's something about Austin. It really is like a mini LA. It's just as expensive. There's just as many homeless. The traffic's just as bad. Except it, it's just as, like, it's weird. I don't know why you would even live here type shit. The weed's not as good. The beach isn't as close. I don't know, I'll move back here when weed's legal, for sure. When I can just sip this and not have to worry about any beds or nothing. Have a nice gun, have some property, some land. That's the dream, but until then, it's okay. It's just a mini wannabe LA. Might as well be in the real thing if you're gonna pay the same price type shit, you know? That's kinda how I feel about it. But one thing that they do have here, that's not even close in the whole state of California, they have barbecue. And specifically here in Austin, it might be some of the best barbecue in the country, I'm not gonna lie. People in Kansas City say theirs is better. People in Tennessee say theirs is better. I'll give it to y'all, maybe. But other than that, Texas is top 300%. So, I'm gonna let this hit. We're gonna get some motherfucking barbecue, bro. I'm getting, I'm hot. I'm fucking, woo! Missed it by a fucking minute, man. Unbelievable, huh, Kento? Yo, look at the size of this goddamn Target, though. Dude, I've always wanted one of these things, man. Just get one, take it to the crib, and fire. I feel like there's usually more if they were stolen. Oh, we're fucking here, baby. You know where we're at if you're an Austin local, man. I think this place is, like, famous aside from Texas. Look how many people are here. The day before Thanksgiving, it's fucking crazy. This is just the waiting area. They have, like, this is, like, a whole little section, bro. The parking's crazy. They even have their own cops. It's fucking nuts. If anyone tells you if anyone does barbecue like Texas, they don't. I can tell just by looking at them that cop's a fucking dickhead, though, so we'll have to take our hate in secret. They have their own check-in area. This is all people fucking waiting, bro. <laughs> this is insane. I told us something like a 45-minute, an hour wait, which is uh, not the worst thing in the world. I've waited longer for some way worse food, too, so, hey, I don't mind it, man. We're not even in Austin, either. We're like 30 minutes outside of Austin, so all these people are like... <laughs> rednecks. Doing a little live music while we wait. How much fun everyone's having in there, bro. I really just did not expect this amount of people here, to be honest with you. I mean, like, yeah, it's a holiday, so a lot of people are here, but it's Thanksgiving, bro. Like, you probably got, like, pre-Thanksgiving food or something. I mean, to ask, because we're in a different city for the past few videos, where are you tuning in from? Where are you smoking from, bro? Where's, like, home for you? You know what I mean? Where are you going home for in Thanksgiving, Christmas? Like, what do you got going? Dang. Code. Oh, sweet tea action. Oh, that's what we need. Just get keeping an unlimited plates of what? Little rib, brisket. <laughs> I'm so fucking high. Honestly, this took way longer than I expected to. I think they fucked up, but um, I'm stoned as fuck. Well, just take a look at that fucking fattiness. The oh, round two came. Oh, brought out both pens. I need backup almost, right? I need fucking both of them to just. What's going on? It's like heaven. I love it. Oh my god, look at this. Bro, she brought us out fresh brisket to go. I don't think I've ever had a to-go place that you can do that. It's fucking amazing. And the sweet tea to go. All right, you can say whatever you want about barbecue. Any state has better barbecue, whatever. Texas has the best sweet tea. In the, in the country, in the world, probably. So, eat that shit. Oh, it's real shit. That's some Texan shit right there, baby. I'll take a hit to that. One final hit, because if we get kicked out, I'm already leaving anyway, baby. Oh, that's a fatty. This straw nana, one of the best tasting things ever. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can see it, bro. So that smoke is extending like all over here. This entire place is like hot box. It's fucking crazy, honestly. Like, there's just like a glow everywhere. It's in my nose, it's shit. It's fucking crazy, bro. So we might as well add to the smoke. Thank you all for tuning into this video, man. Thank you all for supporting, allowing me to just like, it kind of blows my mind. Like, I live in LA, it's fucking cool. I get to go back home, see my family, like, it, it wouldn't be possible without you, you know what I mean? The fact that I can like leave San Antonio, Texas, you know what I mean? Leave my hometown. There's not a lot of people could do that and you're a reason for it. So thank you so much for supporting and all that stuff. This last double rip is for you. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving if you don't celebrate. Does everyone celebrate Thanksgiving? Yeah, that's not like a religious thing, bro. That's like a fucking 
thankful. You know, we should all be thankful. Thankful for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, man. It really does mean a lot. Y'all are the world to me. Ooh. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to upload it. And uh, I fucking love you. Have a good one, everybody. Peace. I didn't mean to flick you off, but like, I love you. Peace so much. Peace. Cause we